Jeff Dunlap, and welcome to Indy Thursday. So we actually have an awesome opportunity here. We're, we get to talk to a veteran. Most of the people we talk to are indie artists here, but this is Mr. Steve Cook. Why don't you rattle off a couple of people you've played with? Um, this is nothing worse than name dropping. So You have to name drop just a little. Just a little? Uh, okay, well, I've got a song out at the moment with Monty Pittman, who's Madonna's guitarist. It's called Bad Girl, and um, Steve Ferrone's drumming on that. He plays with Tom Petty. Yeah, I met him at the HMMAs too, great guy. Yeah, that's right, fantastic guy, wonderful uh, Englishman, so it's a little bit like Britain, Texas and Down Under getting together and mixing it all up, you know. <laughs> what advice would you be giving to indie artists who are, you know, right now, for instance, today in this industry, as opposed to maybe, you know, 10 years ago? Okay, I'd say the number one thing for any indie artist is to be honest, write about what's actually happening right now, and uh, that, I think that's really critical, rather than, you know, trying to copy other people or you know you have to think to yourself uh, we're in a pretty crazy place in the world at the moment so the last right. thing we need is some more wishy-washy love songs you know and what I'm looking for uh, especially from the United States of, the, of America is the next wave you know where, where, where's the next Dylan where, where's the people writing songs where's the rock and roll revolution Absolutely. you know <laughs> bring it on come on Uncle Sam see the next Dylan and I've always been curious especially with someone who's been in the business as long as you could Dylan come about today with YouTube being a launching platform and Justin Bieber being the biggest thing in the industry right now. Do you think that that is a hindrance on real talent, the way the industry is set up today? Yeah, I, I think you've hit the nail on the head. If uh, America's cultural answer to the crisis that everyone's living through, Occupy Wall Street, all the rest of it, is Justin Bieber goes country, yeah. no wonder we're in so much yeah. trouble. Yeah. <laughs> if the whole country's concerned about his Twitter following and haircut, and that's the music industry, you know, that's what I was saying, is that, you know, you look at Dylan, you look at amazing singer-songwriters out there, and I just wonder, would they be able to hit it today? Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's all about the the one percent, really, isn't it? I mean, Justin Bieber has 14 million um, fans. You know, that pales into insignificant when you look at the fans Jimi Hendrix and Led Zeppelin have Absolutely. got. You know, you know, I mean, you look at the flash in the pans today, and. And this, the true singer-songwriters, the people you're talking about who are singing from their soul, I think, and I, I'm looking for your information on this, they, they had something that just spans decades. Yeah, that's right. You know, uh, a lot of the music is timeless. Right. It really is timeless. Like, you even go back to Bill Haley, you right. know, rock around the clock. Yeah. I mean, you put that record on, it still sounds great. Yeah. Uh, and when you listen to some of the music, you know, especially in this millennia, it's dated because of the synth sounds, you know, and, and the cheesiness of a lot of the recordings, right. the digital stuff. I mean, all the kids think you can make music on a Mac. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I can tell you something, Bill Haley, he had no Mac. Yeah. So yeah. you're not huge on auto-tuning? No, I'm not, I'm not that <laughs> huge on auto tuning. No, not at all. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, what I'm hoping and praying for is that we have a bit of a rock and roll circus. You know, like like in the old days. Uh, you know, what was it? It was uh, the Stones and the Beatles and all those guys, Dylan included. They used to hang out and play together and have fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah. where's that? You know, where's the unity with all the musicians now? So, you know, the only thing I'm horrified about is they're talking about reviving the 80s. So, you know, if they do that, I better get a haircut and a real job, you know. You're, real, you're trendy right now. They're thinking you're doing this right now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Perhaps I've arrived just on time, you know. That's great. That's great. So, you know, just basically, classically, sticking to the, the where you're coming from, where your heart is, the real music that's timeless. That's, that's awesome advice. And I think that the, the indie artists coming up today, I think we might actually get some real music out of here. No, no, I agree, and I mean, I think if they look at the roots, you know, and the, from the 60s and the early 70s, especially 72, 73, I mean, what wonderful roots to have, you know? So, uh, Well, yeah. we really appreciate you coming out here and supporting Indie Thursday. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.